What's good, YouTube? Travis D here, and today we have our Pokemon Invitational Cup battle against Echelate Games. Echelate. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get into this battle. This battle is kind of going up a little bit late. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but we got it all figured out. As this man is bringing Shaman, he's bringing all the power. His team is pretty well built, actually. Uh, now his lead is more than likely Gliscor. So I kind of want to just go ahead and go into Justice. He could predict that and go into Slowbro. If he does that... You know what? I want to go into Porygon Z. Because he... No matter what he goes into... I do carry Dark Pulse. I just have to be careful about Terrakion. I think I should be fine. Tri attack hurts everything on his team. I, I'm pretty fine with hitting tri attack, if honestly, if it came down to it. Yeah, I think tri attack is my best option. Just locking myself in. Uh, sorry, I'm really quiet right there, guys. I'm just waiting. I'm trying to figure out what he's going to go into. Because uh, I'm going to just go Porygon. And see if I'm able to pick up a kill of sorts. Because he only has Terrakion as a fighting type. Uh, which, I mean, that's not to be underestimated. I'm trying to also decipher what his team is. Uh, he's got Mega Slowbro. It's Leftover Sableye. Uh, I'm assuming King's Rock Cincino, uh, just because that's the most annoying thing I can think of. Uh, quite possible Spec Shaman, as I'm gonna go into that. That's fine. That is completely fine. Uh, I, I don't want to just open up a Dark Pulse right off the get go. Or do I? Do I or do I or do I? I'm gonna switch out into Manetric just because. Alright, there's the Will O Wisp. Mega Evolve, Volt Switch. And he's probably gonna go for the Foul Play here. So, what I'll do is I'll just go into my Dawn Fan. Uh, he's going to take some nice and powerful Rocky Helmet damage. Now, I don't know if this would kill or not. Uh, this is going to be hard. I could just go... No, Will-O-Wisp will go before it because how it's set up. So I'm going to go right back out into Manetric, expecting him to Willow again as he just recovers. Okay. I'm just gonna go for overheat. As I miss, that's so unfortunate. Wow, that really sucked. Oh my god. That really freaking sucked. Ah. I'm just gonna have to go back into my fanny pack. He's on foul play again, but not much else I can do about that. I need to get stealth rocks up. And 
and I think probably my best play here is to just go ahead and go back into Porygon Z. Uh, and he willow! Did the one time I didn't predict the willow. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna go for the dark poles here. No. Oh, wait, yes. Okay, I feel like my smart play is to go into Donphan here. Just because he, yeah, there it is. Alright, so there's the Terrakion that I was predicting turn one. Now, Terrakion, ugh. He can hurt. Uh, my Donphan's a defensive version with Rocky Helmet. I'm expecting this thing to be Scarfed or Life Orb. Earthquake will, has a chance to kill though. Does he have... He does, but I'm going to go for it. I don't see why not. I f if he stays in, that's fine. He's going to take a defense drop, and he's going to die here. This is going to be a kill. Yes! All right, we got rid of Tracheon. Ah, oh, that feels good. Okay. We end this. We end this. That's huge, because that means I can now fire off Dark Pulses as I want to. Uh, so I am completely fine with that. I am just going to Earthquake right here, because I don't want him to get free damage off. He can Calm Mind up if he wants to. Uh, this is my best play. As he does get some extra Bolt by doing that, but like I said, I am completely fine with him setting up right now. Now, if he's a rest set, this is going to be a fairly annoying matchup. Okay, so he just decides to do that. That's fine. Because now I, I get to just U-turn. This U-turn will kill slow, bro. He decides to switch out. He goes on the glass board. That's completely fine. I will just go out into my Keldeo, and I will hit Icy Wind. Whatever comes in will be slowed. This thing is Ed Spirit Belt. He might go Shaman, expecting it to be a Hydro Pump. He goes back into Sable Eye, to let it die. As I, I do reveal that I am packing Icy Wind. Okay, so I've got two down. All right, all right, all right, all right. This thing is a problem. Uh, kind of want to go into Manetric and just sack Manetric because it doesn't do anything against the rest of his team now. And it misses. Oh, jeez. That's unfortunate for him. So I will know if he's scarfed or not right now. As I can just fire off a Volt Switch. He goes out in the Glide Score. That's completely fine. Uh, Glide Score. If he's specially defensive against Mega Manetric. That, he's in range. I'm on for it. Oh, and he lives. But that's fine. I still outspeed him. Yeah, and that's a dead Glide Score. That is sweet. We are in this. Static Shock is alive. As he goes into his Mega Slowbro here, I am going to Volt Switch. I am saving Static Shock. That kills Slowbro out. And Static Shock gets to live. Uh, I am going to go out into... Latios. And I'm just going, I'm actually just going to go for the safer play and just go ahead and side shot this thing. As he misses another tail slap, that's so unfortunate. 
as I don't think Shaman can do anything here. It's only Grass type. Um, I'm gonna Draco. See if this kills. I don't believe Shaman has anything he can do to me. I, th I think it gets Moonblast, but I don't know if you put that on there because it's not Stab or anything like that. God, it's glasses this week. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, Sincino missing both times on Tail Slap. That was. That's rough. And Draco Meteor is going to come in. It's not going to kill. He does pack the Dazzling Gleam. It is a crit. I'm just going to go for another Draco here. As that does not kill, but it does weaken it enough. Latios is going to go down to Life Orb. He goes for Dazzling Gleam again. And. We can honestly just go ahead and go out into Darmanitan and click U-turn, and that's it. All right, so we ended the losing streak, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got a 4-0. Uh, it was well played by Inshalade. Uh, it was, a, a, his team was threatening. I think the biggest thing for him is Terrakion versus Donphan because the Donphan was specifically for Terrakion uh, just because I could wall him and kill him back uh, even defensive Donphan I think does like 84 to 100 uh, percent with Earthquake so high roll kills at full HP but I got rocked up and that did a little bit of damage and he took damage from Rocky Helmet plus he had the defense drop so I and I knew I think close combat at Matt's was able to do like 38 percent or something like that I can't remember so I wasn't worried about Donphan. I was not in range unless he crit me, and that would have been unfortunate. Uh, so that yeah, that was a good match. I really think that I got uh, I made correct plays on this team when I needed to. I fumbled around a little bit on Sableye. I it spit, I should have just Dark Pulse at the beginning, but I sincerely thought that he was going to switch out into Terrakion on the Dark Pulse. So. That's, that's it, and I mean, he critically injured two of my pokes. Uh, Darmanitan and Keldeo got to stay at full HP. Uh, they got played really well, I feel like, so I'm pretty happy with that. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button up, and be sure to check out HLID Games and all that good stuff, because this dude is pretty cool. And thank you guys for being so patient for us to get this match up. I knew it was a little bit late uh, this week, but we finally got it going. Thank you guys so much, and you guys have a great day. Peace.